Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Where is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on a legend and two future Hall of Famers in this fight game. We have Adrian the Problem Bronner, the youngest four division world champion in boxing. And we all know AB trying to make his comeback. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla out of Baltimore, the three division world champion. Um, one of the hottest young stars in the game. And then we have the legendary Floyd Money Mayweather, the five division world champion, the man that helped revolutionize the boxing game and take it out of the promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. But we all know Floyd Money Mayweather, man, right? He helped make Javante Tank Davis the star that he is today. We have to give him credit. You know what I'm saying? He put Tank in position to make millions of dollars. Um... He put Tank in a position to be a pay-per-view fighter. And, you know, he helped him become a star that he is. But Floyd wants all the credit for everything. You know what I'm saying? Floyd feel like, you know, without him, Javante Davis probably would have been another age in the problem, Browner. Let's keep it real. I'm here to tell the truth, y'all. Floyd Mayweather feel like, you know, without him being in Javante Tank Davis' career, guiding him the way he guided him, that Tank would be another Adrian Bronner. And we all know how Bronner's career turned out. So he felt like he kept Tank on track, and he felt like he's the one that to take Tank, you know, to be, you know, a megastar in the boxing game if Tank just listened to him. But Tank don't want to hear that shit, right? Tank is tired of the bullshit with Floyd. Tank want to carve out his own career, and Tank feel like he's doing just fine. And that he'll never be a fucking agent of problem, Browner. Two different dudes. Let's just keep it real. One from Baltimore, one from Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they both got the same kind of, you know, explosive style. But Tank is totally different from AB. Totally different from AB. With a different mindset. You know what I'm saying? I made a video on this before. Javante Tank Davis is Javante Tank Davis. He want to be Javante Tank Davis. Looked up to Floyd, respect Floyd, thank Floyd for everything he done for him, but Tank is going to be Tank. Shouts out to them Baltimore boys, man. Tank is going to be Tank. Tank is not no fucking follower. He's a leader. You know what I'm saying? And he's showing that. And he don't kiss ass. And I like that about the kid. He real, he raw, he authentic. When it come to age and the problem, Bronner, AB, always balling, um, about billions. Anybody can get it. When he came into the game, he wanted to be Floyd. He wanted to be Floyd, and that was his fucking downfall, everybody. That was his downfall. Along with wanting to be a fucking rapper and hanging out with, with rappers going on tour, blowing up in weight, thinking you can just come back, knock it off, and beat the top people. Negative, bro. You have to keep the weight um, in check. You have to take boxing very serious. And you got to, you know, perfect your fucking craft, bro. Perfect your craft. Put the hard work in. AB once put the hard work in, but once the fame came, you know, it came so early for him, he couldn't really handle it. You know what I'm saying? He got millions and millions of dollars. He couldn't really handle it. You know what I'm saying? Being who he is, coming from where he come from, not having shit, having to take care of people, you know, having a bunch of leeches around, and it got to him. Then he tried to keep up with Floyd Mayweather, and that was the worst thing that he can ever try to do. The worst thing that he can ever try to do. So when Floyd look at Tank, he look at Tank as, okay, AB bought Tank to me, right? Um, kind of on the same level for us when they came to him. You know, fast hands, power, you know what I mean? So he looking like, you know what? I couldn't get Adrian Bronner. I couldn't get him. AB a high head. AB wanted to do what AB wanted to do. He didn't want to listen to Floyd, but he wanted to be Floyd. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't want to listen to Floyd, but he wanted to be Floyd. He didn't have the discipline. He didn't have the work ethic. All the talent in the world, all the fucking skills in the world, probably more skillful than Floyd, who knows? But he didn't have the, 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 the work ethic, and he didn't want to listen. When it came to Tank, Tank was a humble killer, right? Tank soaked up the game. Um, he waited for his opportunity, and he went out there and he performed, right? So A.B. brought Tank to Floyd. A.B. said he would have signed Tank, but he didn't have about billions at the time. He didn't have the resources. You feel me? So Floyd got a hold of Tank. We all know. Told Tank I'll make you a, a world champion and a millionaire in two years. And he did that. He actually did it. You know what I mean? But you need a Tank to follow suit. And you need a Tank to go into the ring and do what he needed to do to make that shit work. You know what I'm saying? So Tank actually did what Floyd told him to do. And it worked. You know what I'm saying? 
But as you go on, you grow and you learn. You grow and you learn. And being up on the Floyd Mayweather, you, you see the arrogant fucking person that he is, right? Good dude with a good heart, don't get me wrong, but he's so fucking arrogant and caught up in himself. And he don't want nobody to be better than him. You see how he talked about Adrian Brown. You see how he dog Adrian Brown out. You know what I'm saying? A.B. is, um, you know, always broke, right? Talked about him being drunk. Talked about a lot of shit about A.B. behind his back. When well, he supposed to be his big brother. You know what I'm saying? A.B. looked at him as a big brother, but he wasn't really being that. Because I don't know if he looked at A.B. as a threat or what the situation was. But when it came to Tank, you know, Tank, you know, stood the course, being smart, soaking up the game, soaking up the knowledge. When you're that young and you're on the floor, you're going to be influenced by Floyd a little bit. But as you grow and you see the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You be like, nah, bro, that ain't me. That ain't me. I ain't Adrian Bronner. Right? Now, we seen Tank. Way get up there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like Adrian Bronner. But the thing about Tank is, he got it. And now he keep his weight at a certain, you know what I'm saying, minimum. To where he keep it in check. Him and Earl Spence talked about that. You know what I'm saying? A.B. had a drinking problem. We see what that did to him. Tank sipped a little bit. Everybody go enjoy and indulge in a little something when you're fucking rich. But Tank got that shit together. Didn't let it destroy him. Didn't let him take a mother. Right? You seen A.B. jumping weight class to weight class. Think he can do that shit and come back down. Tank, he jumped a few weight classes, but he's seen, I can't be doing that shit. I have to stay at a certain weight class, keep my weight in check, and I can handle that shit down here. Right? Even every time I put Tank at 147 to get Thurman. Well, Tank said, I ain't no motherfucking Superman. Y'all ain't going to try to suck at me like that. You feel me? No, sir. You feel me? I'm going to take my career into my own hands. Right? So, A.B., he wanted to try to keep up with Floyd. Jewelry. This. That. And thinking Floyd was his big bro. Nah. No good. Tank, look at Floyd. See the fucked up ways. Call his ass out on this shit. Nah, you're not going to make me do this. You're not going to make me do that if I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now they start bumping heads, force the team, where he won't take the train and things of that nature. Tank want to bring his full team. Floyd want to train to Vegas. Tank want to train to Baltimore, wherever he want to train at. That's his business. You feel me? So you've seen the things that Floyd was trying to do. He's trying to take Tank all the way up on his wings, take him away from, you know what I'm saying, Coach Calvin and things of that nature, and try to force him into his situation. But Tank like, man, fuck all that. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing what I want to do. So when Floyd looked at Tank, Tank ain't stay out the hood. Oh, Tank go do this. Tank go do that. He was really looking at Tank like an A.B. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, man, he go fuck up like Adrian Bronner. Or he go do this. He go do that. I can't trust him. Her. I can't trust him there. And Tank like, nigga, my brain is something different. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no Adrian Bronner brain. I ain't no arrogant ass nigga like that. You know what I mean? You can see Tank got a good heart. Tank show his, his opponents respect. Even when he whipped the ass, he show respect unless you talk shit to him. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at the situation, bro, I just look at Floyd Mayweather want to control every goddamn thing that's going on with Javante Tank Davis and Tank like I ain't with all that shit, bro. I know how to handle my business as a man as you get older. You have motherfuckers like Calvin Ford to, to, to look up to. They can tell you not to make this mistake, that mistake. The ones you should be listening to. Not saying I take advice from Floyd Mayweather because he did this game in a billion dollars and he moved a certain way. But at the same time, everybody don't want to be Floyd like I said. Tank want to be Tank. A.B. wanted to be Floyd. You know what I'm saying? You need an agent Brown to tell him to do this and do that because he wanted to be you. But Tank even said Floyd ain't the greatest to him. You know what I'm saying? He coming out speaking his mind now. He being truthful. Ain't no no hating shit. But at the same time, if you want to talk shit about me, I'm going to talk shit about you. Right? You mad because I want to get the fuck away from your promotion company because you want to promote your shit more than you want to promote my shit when your career is over with. You want to do all this exhibition shit when you should be worrying about me first. Flat out, homie. I'm your fighter. You a fucking promoter. Your career is over. I'm not saying don't go make your money, but don't put your shit over my shit and think I'm going to be on the back burner and I'm really fighting in this motherfucking boxing game. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, I look at the situation like, you know, Floyd Mayweather looking at Tank and he just think he can look boy Tank and talk that shit, talk that shit because he got a billion dollars in the bank if he got a billion still. But, nigga, money don't make you solid like that. It's about the heart. It's about being genuine about what you're doing. You should want the best for me regardless of anything. You say you do, but do you really? You know what I'm saying? You say you want me to break your records, and then you turn around. Nobody will ever break my records. No fighter will ever be better than me. In the same voice. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, who really knows what the fuck Floyd Mayweather want for Tank? Let's be real. 
Because the big fights out there for Tank, you're not trying to make them. You're talking about you go keep it in-house. Nah, bro, put Tank in them big fights and let him go whoop them boys' ass and let him, you know what I'm saying, grow his legacy even more. Tank go fight whoever you put in front of him. He ain't ducking no wreck. None. He had to go make the run and go see a fight happen to his motherfucking self. You feel me? Tank ain't ducking shit because you know he can beat all these dudes. But when Floyd be putting that, 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 you know what I'm saying, oh, we go wait on this. Nah, fuck all that, bro. We all go out here and do this because that's what I want. I'm the boss of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the boss of me. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I look at it like Javante Davis is his own man now. I respect Tank. I respect him to the utmost. Because any man that stand up to Floyd and, and, and tell him I don't give a fuck about the money, you know, your, your, your reputation, what you did out here, I'm my own man and I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do this my career, I got to respect that. Because you ain't no flunky and you ain't no follower. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that you being hard-headed that you ain't listening. It's just that you ain't going to let nobody carry you. Especially as a grown man with kids. Yeah, you got me fucked up, homie. You know what I'm saying? You work for me. You work for me. I don't give a fuck how big you is. You work for me. You know what I'm saying? And Floyd looking at Tank like he's going to be an AB, but Tank go prove him wrong. Tank go show him that my career is going to pan out, and I'm going to be a future Hall of Famer, and I'm going to do everything that I want to do, and I'm going to make this motherfucking money with Al Heyman, and you're going to look stupid at the end because you should have listened to me. And that's all I wanted you to do was listen to me, let me make some decisions in my fucking career, and we would have been on great terms. But you don't want to listen because you think you know everything because of what you've done in boxing. I'm my own boss as well. Period, bro. So shout out to Tank for standing his own ground. And Tank could never be an agent problem, Browner. Never. Straight like that. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC. Moving everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Treyhouse 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.